So I just read Catwoman issue two from DC Future State. And um, yeah, it's kind of a complete story. Um, I think it leans a little bit too much into the Batman part, but um, first off, the cover is great. Look at that face for Selina. That is gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I think this one is the Cheshire Cat. Um, and this was, oh, what was his name? Oh, we can't, oh, I can't remember his name from issue one. That's annoying. Um, so we start off in Alleytown, Gotham, several years from now. And Cheshire Cat is clearing the area. She's taking out the guards, planting some bombs so they can remove power from the train that Selena's on. And once the train is in the tunnel, they're going to blow the power line so the train stops in the tunnel to give Selena some more time to get the kids off. So she's been fighting with Onomatopoeia. That was his name, the guy with the circle on his face. I just remembered. Um, so they've been fighting the guards to get to closer to the front of the train. Selena's completely battered and is not doing well. The writer's Ram V and the artist is Otto Schmidt, which is yeah, the art is lovely. I'm not going to lie. It's it's pretty decent. The, the faces are nice. And that's one of my big things. I need really nice faces on my characters. And they're really nice. So she's got 18 seconds before the um, train gets to the tunnel. But she passes out. And when she passes out, she has a dream of Bruce's funeral. And meeting Batman. And Batman telling her why Bruce does what he does. And how Bruce is now dead and all that's left is Batman and then she's woken up by Onomatopoeia who um, says sound effects he says sounds he doesn't speak so as he's slapping her he's saying slap um, <laughs> yeah she stops him she's like do that again I'm gonna tear your fucking arm off but um, they're trapped in that cart and there's some um, knockout gas crazy purple knockout gas is coming to get them we then head to the control room where Talia Al Ghul and Bruce Wayne are because last issue we found out Talia had gotten onto the train because she knew Bruce was there. Um, look what they're doing with his long coat and his hair. He looks very bat-like. So they're taking on the guards in the control room to take control of the train. They have no idea what Catwoman's plan is, but Bruce sees her on the, on the screen. So he's obviously not going to leave her there. But trapped in the room, she uses the magnetic pads on her suit to cause a feedback on the magnetic locks and open the door it causes a massive explosion actually and she comes out she does what she does um, I don't know why Onomatopoeia isn't helping um, I think maybe she knocked him out when she fell on him there but she gets knocked down and as they're about to kill her Bruce Wayne comes out of nowhere and just twats this guy and then Onomatopoeia comes out and helps and yeah because he shoots one of them in the neck and says blam so that's cool and then we get this really cool page this really cool panel of the four of them talia looks wicked i like this design for talia um very very much inspired by her dad but yeah so you've got the four of them there and now Sab sabrina tells bruce well i mean obviously they have a smooch then she tells him that she needs to get the kids off the train and he tells her that he has to go with Talia to help the resistance. So he's going to take one half of the train with Talia and she'll take the other half with the kids and he'll blow the rest up and he'll take responsibility for freeing the kids so they don't even know that Catwoman was ever there. And so he takes the train, it goes off. As it leaves the tunnel it explodes and Batman escapes with Talia. Um, Onomatopoeia just leaves. Catwoman's there with her strays. And then the final panel is of the guy tied up. We get a bat signal burning in the snow. And the Batman lives sign. And then it just says the end. Yeah, this was a decent story. It was alright. It, I mean, there was action. There was explosions and fight scenes. All you really want from a fun book. Um, and yeah, start a middle and an end again. That I don't ask for much. When you're giving me two issues of a story, just give me a start, a middle, and an end. You know, don't leave me hanging. So yeah, overall, this is a decent read. Um, I recommend this. I'm glad I picked this one up. Um, and the variants are lovely. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye.